What's up, y'all? Torpedoes and Tarantulas here, and as you can see, yes, guys, we have another addition, or additions, I think, I don't know. We got a package today, so we're about to do an unboxing. Um, this is kind of rushed because it is a work night, and um, I haven't been able to sit still since I got home from work, so now I'm finally taking time to get this thing opened up. And at the same time, show you guys what's in the box. And as I always bitch about people being slow about cutting this, in my defense, that invoice and everything, it's a little bit of an issue, but we know how to get past that. So, uh, this is a first purchase for me with this vendor, whom I've heard nothing but great things about. Um, all of the full-time hobbyists and, and, and things um, love these guys and I have been communicating with them a little bit more uh, Alexandra than um, Garrett I believe anyway it's a little thank you note they do this you know, with everybody thanks for thanks for choosing Palp Friction if you like how we do things please leave us a review on our Facebook page and on Google we really appreciate it happy keeping sincerely Garrett and Allie so far it looks like um it's pretty well packed, and as I expected from seeing all all other videos, Pop Friction Tarantulas sticker. Too bad it's not the old one. I kind of like the uh, the round one better than this one. But anyway, enough rambling. Let's get down to the the dirt. Right, all this stuffing. Hold on, guys. Let me get the trash can. All right, so let's get get to digging and find these goodies way down the bottom of this box as you can see guys very well packed very well packed the one thing that i have noticed in difference between the um u.s vendors and this is absolutely no bias or prejudice in any way the one thing i've noticed more out of the u.s vendors as opposed to the uk or europe is that we use recyclable and, and degradable packing I like the paper personally uh, I just don't really don't like the styrofoam peanuts you know but anyway there it is apparently they're both pretty small now to talk about this particular tarantula that I got it is one that is not necessarily it's not rare in the hobby but it's just kind of making its way into it so oh wow that's my freebie we'll get back to that alrighty so this is this is the star of the show here tonight, guys. This tarantula, like I said, is not rare in the hobby, but it is new, and so it is not common. Sorry about that. Focus, guys. And this is a Ephonopelma a, a genus, which are slow growers, but they're pretty chill, pretty low maintenance. And this one is the Ephonopelma Johnny Cashy. That's right, folks. If you didn't know that, there is a tarantula named after. Sorry, guys. Let me get this damn zoom off of here. There we go, that's better. Anyway, still not perfect. Sorry about the dirty fingernails. I work a dirty job. This is the Afana Pilma John Akashi. They're not, like I said, very common in the hobby. Um, they were discovered in, in uh, Northern California, close to Folsom Prison in 2015. And the males were mostly black, so naturally close to Folsom Prison, the males being mostly black, man in black. Johnny Cash, I thought that was pretty freaking awesome. So the first time I heard there was a tarantula named after Johnny, Johnny Cash, I had to have one. Now, another thing that sold me on Palp Friction, besides all the review videos, was they've got a banner that pops up as soon as you go on their website that says freebies on all orders over $50, excluding the shipping. And this is my freebie, guys. I've never had one of these. I am kind of leery of the old worlds. I do have one old world baboon. Um, but fortunately for most of the videos that I have seen, these guys are pretty chill, although they're less chill when they're by themselves. So I don't know. I may consider trading this guy or something later on, but that is awesome. Thank you, Garrett and Alexandra so much. Great service. I hope you guys got all that mess straightened out with the T Celadonia and we can get back to getting these tarantulas out here. Um, in the hobby with people so I am going to shut up for a second set up a couple of enclosures and we're going to house these guys okay so we're going to do the tricky one first we're going to go ahead and do the old world get that sucker out of the way kind of like it with a band-aid you know you don't want to slowly peel it back you just yank that sucker off and get it out of the way anyway 
quite dark down there. I don't really see anything. Hold on, guys. Light's still bad. We really can't see it down in there. I can kind of make out a foot or two. So, anyway, without further delay, let's see if we can get this thing out of here. As you can see, they really care about the animals that they sell because you see how well packed these guys are. They have been a pleasure to do business with so far. Now, here's where I'm starting to get a little nervous, guys. Um, I'm wondering if maybe I shouldn't do the uh, squeeze technique, but I don't know where the spider is and I don't want to squish it. While I'm talking about that, um, this is going to be my first M. Balfouri, and so I don't even know if I'm doing this right. If there is anybody out there that has Balfouris, especially solitary Balfouris, please share with me any kind of information that you can about, you know, how to care for these guys and stuff. Boy, they wrapped it up pretty well. Makes it kind of hard to open them up, but at least you know they're safe in transit. And again, I don't want to go through five minutes of unraveling this thing, but at the same time, I don't want to try the squeeze method since I'm not very experienced with that kind of thing. So we'll just kind of take our time, be patient with me. Sorry about the fingers and the hands in the way, but sometimes oh, your best tools are your fingers. Hold on, guys.